Okay, here we go again, guys. It is time to finish off deadline day. I left you guys with a big question yesterday, and that is, who do I replace Urzel with? Now, before I get going on this, obviously, we've made an offer for Timo Werner. That is out of this Urzel equation. You know, we need to bring in a replacement for him. I haven't actually received the money for Urzel yet, and we only have eight hours left. So, it might not even go through. At this point, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit in a sticky situation because I haven't got the money and I don't know if it's actually going to go through. Like, it, it genuinely might fall apart. So I, I don't know what to do at this point because if I don't get things going now in terms of signing a new player, I could run out of time. This is it's really stressful. There's the offer that we had, 75. Of course, we did negotiate for a little bit more and uh, we accepted it. I think it was 81 in the end. Um, I might actually, I might have my numbers wrong. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to risk it and go one hour more. Yeah, let's do that. One hour. Let's see what happens. Are you joking? Not even an email. Oh, what do I do, guys? This is horrible. We've got 60 million. I can probably afford these players with 60 million. Drax, so we're looking at 47 to 70, 49 to 73 for Lamar and a new choice. Now, I've been going through the comments, of course. You guys have been leaving so many comments and someone suggested... Fekir. I'm a huge fan of Fekir. It'd be great to partner him up with Lacazette once again. I feel like Fekir, although he's a cam and a striker, he has in the past played on the right and sometimes even on the left. So I feel like he, he is a pretty good replacement for Meza Ozil. And we're looking at 34 to 45 million to sign him up, which isn't even that much. He's 84 rated, by the way. And it means, for whatever reason, if we don't even get Werner, we've got another striker. He is a striker as well. So I'm quite tempted. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite tempted to go for Fekir. Um, I can afford him easily. Do you know what, guys? I might I might just try and do this. Let's let's see what we can do negotiations-wise. I might negotiate on all three of these players. We're just going to be focusing on the transfer window deadline day in this episode. Is it me or is that a bit laggy? Feels like the game's lagging a little bit there. Uh, first off, let's decide what deal we want to pursue. So, uh... Giroud is included in the Werner deal, so I don't want to offer Giroud. Is there anyone else I could realistically offer? Uh, maybe... Maybe Kazola. 10 million? Let's see what they say to that. It might be... That's good. No. A goalkeeper. Ah, okay. Now, that's interesting because we have quite a few. We've got Martinez, Petr Cech, and Ospina. I'm tempted to keep Ospina and sell Petr Cech because he's older and his wages are higher. I think Ospina... Oh, he's not as good, though, is he? This is the problem with career mode. You have to make these big decisions. I feel like maybe offering Martinez would be pointless because he's only worth 2.1, so it has to be between these two. And you know what? I'm going to offer Ospina. I think it's more likely to go through because he's younger. So let's see what happens here. They are willing to do Ospina. Okay, so 43 million plus Ospina. That's quite a lot, actually. I wasn't expecting that. So we'll, we'll try the sell-on clause, 15%. And we are going to offer 32. That's a lot less than what they're asking for. But that 15% sell-on clause should be good. Let's see what they say. 35.8. Let's see if we can go down just a teeny bit more. Do you reckon they will, though? Go 32 and a half, maybe? 32 and a half? 33 and a half, sorry. Uh, okay, let's try it. Are we going to get that magical black fade? Yes, we are. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I got excited for a second there. I thought we did it. Okay, so 35.8 million. They're sticking with it. I'm going to accept it. I think that's still a relatively fair deal. The wages are not going to be a problem because Ospina's already on quite high wages. It means we've kept uh, Petr Cech. And of course, you know, he is 83 rated. He's still very good. So we now have the uh, the ability to just no negotiate with him. Uh, we've offered a deal for Werner. I, I, I don't think I'm going to go with Lamar. I think there's something about Lamar. I've used him on Ultimate Team and I've used him in a Monaco career mode just for fun when the game first came out. I didn't really like him, and the only reason I was talking about him and added him into this list is just because it's a somewhat realistic transfer, because we almost, almost signed him. 
So I think I'm going to have to make a decision here. I'm not going to go with Lamar. I'm not going to go with Correa. So I'm going to make an offer for Draxler and see what kind of price we're looking at. And then I can decide on who to sign. So again, I want to say a massive thank you to all of the feedback. After all, I'm the one that's going to make the decision, but it did help reading through the comments and seeing what you guys wanted me to do. A lot of people saying, you know, get Dybala, Kevin De Bruyne, those guys I would not be able to afford. So that's just the way it is. Uh, let's try a player swap. Do you know what? I'm going to offer Ospina in this deal as well. I can't because he's in the other deal. Um, okay, let's just try, let's try someone else. Maybe Theo? No, Joel Campbell. Let's try Joel Campbell. Not interested. Looking to bring in a left back. That is something I don't really have, I'm afraid. I do have Bramall, but they're not going to be interested in him. This is PSG, for God's sake. Luke Shaw and uh, Kalasinac, they're, they're players that I want to say, uh, keep, so I'm not going to offer that. We'll offer a transfer fee, current value. Let's just give them their value, his value. 42 million. They're going to ask for 60-something, aren't they? Let's see. 73! Wow. 73 million. I, I, no, no, guys, I'm afraid Draxler is not, I'll try, I'll try one counter just to see, but that's not going to work. The most I'd pay for him is probably 55. And of course we do have the Urzel money coming in, hopefully. So, uh, let's see if they'll accept 55. No. I'm sorry, guys, Draxler. If, if we had the Urzel money, we could be going for this, but worst case, we go for him in January. There's just... No, I'm sorry. I am sorry, guys. That is way too much money. A ridiculous amount of money. So I've got Fekir ready and waiting. We're waiting, obviously, for my assistant manager to come back uh, because I delegated the contract discussions. So we are going to wait and see on that. And then we'll make an offer for Fekir. But we need the money to come through. Here we go. We've got an email. Is it going to be confirmation of Mezzet being sold? Um, it's not. Damn. Okay, so Fekir is eager. Let's do one more. Okay, we've got another email. This needs to be the Urzel deal. It needs to be. Oh, okay, fantastic. We've got Timo Werner, but that does mean I'm not going to have enough money to do both of these. And I'm tempted to go with... Uh, do I want Fekir more than Timo Werner? I think I actually do. Oh, man, he wants 120,000. It's quite a lot of money, that, isn't it? All right, I'm going to risk it. We've got time. Let's do another hour. Okay, we've got three emails. This should be player sold. What have I done? Oh. I needed the Urzel deal to go through. For God's sake, Matt, what have I just done? He's still negotiating with City. Do you know what? If if Ozil goes and I don't get a replacement in, I will be okay, but I'm going to be so frustrated. Let's accept this deal. Millwall wants Bramwell. I'm so angry at myself for letting that happen. So I got, I got two hours, effectively. They gave me two hours to negotiate with them. I'm sorry, what if I went for a coffee or a lunch break? You know, what if my computer blue screened and I wasn't able to email you? That is ridiculous. That needs to be changed. I guess you could say one hour in deadline day is one day, effectively, in terms of getting emails in and negotiating. But that's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You could try again in a week. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's actually ridiculous that's just happened. Do I go for someone else? And why, why? Oh, I didn't read that. I need to decide on my future. So if we don't get together very soon, I will no longer be interested in moving forward with this deal. Still though, two hours. I mean, that is... That's ridiculous. I'm really, really disappointed with that. And I, I don't I don't have the ability to go back in for them. No actions available. No actions available. No actions available. Damn it. Okay, so at this point, Urzo is still an Arsenal player. We have four hours remaining. I guess what I do is I try and delay that sale. Is there any way I can even do that? Nope, he's gone. 
He's gone for 85 million to Man City. I thought it was 81. So we've got ourselves 79 million in the bank. There is one more player that was pretty pretty popular in the comments, and that is Anthony Martial. Um, obviously was heavily linked with Arsenal. Um, I think it was the season before he went to Manchester United, but he went to Manchester United and somewhat isn't, you know, their first team winger on, on the team sheet. So I guess we could try. You know, I like to keep this series somewhat realistic. And I'll tell you what, he's a French winger. Wenger's openly said he likes Martial. We almost went for him. Again, it's, it seems like I say that every time. We almost went for these players, but that's what Wenger always says. We went for them, but it didn't quite work. Uh, so I think I think Martial is going to be last choice here. We're going to have to just go for it and get him. I mean, he's a left midfielder slash striker. Probably would do all right on the right if we needed him to. But I'm thinking Martial, Lacazette, Sterling is a very good front three with Sanchez available as well. And... Yeah, I think this this quite literally is going to be last chance. Um, do I want to offer a player swap? We could try a goalkeeper again because I do have four. Let's try Ospina and see what they say. Not interested. Right back. Again, we don't really have a choice in right back that I want to sell. So we're not going to go do that. We'll offer a transfer fee. They're going to want at least 50 million, but we have the money. I'll go in with 42 as a first offer. And just a reminder, we've only got three hours left of the window, so I really can't afford to mess this up because I won't have any other choices and I won't have time. So, 42 million. What? You've given me one of the best young players in the game for 42 million. I'm sorry, Mourinho, you're meant to be a smart guy. That's ridiculous. And I'm going to have to negotiate. Normally, I would delegate, but there is no time. We are going to have to pay... A lot of money to sign this guy. I know he's going to want a big bonus, a signing bonus. Anthony Martial, here we go. So important role, that's fine by me. Five years, we'll go ahead and accept that. Notice how these cutscenes, you know, I skip them. It's because they get really long and boring. I love it. I think it's really good that they've done this, but somehow they need to make it more engaging next year because it's just menus after all, isn't it? Um, it'd be cool if they had voice lines as well. Maybe get a couple of players to actually talk. So... He's currently on 140,000 per week. That is that is quite high. Um, I'm going to go in with 140. Let's not increase that if we can avoid it. And just offer him a nice, you know, £1 million paycheck just to join. So let's see if he'll offer, uh, if he'll accept that offer. A million pounds up front. And there you go. Straight away, he's on the same money as he was before. But that nice chunk, I mean, I could have easily spent 50, maybe even 60 million on this guy if Mourinho decided to really go for it. But um, he didn't. We saved money and we spent a little bit of it in negotiating for him. So that means Nelson goes down onto the reserves, unfortunately. Um, but that means we do have Anthony Martial, one of the best players in career mode. There's no doubt about it. He is going to be huge for us. And I think, you know, although he's not going to be in the first team... Every game, I can really move around my front three a lot now. It's a shame that Ozil's gone, but I would argue Martial is the better player in FIFA anyway. So I'm, ha I'm happy with that. We've now got to finish the window. Let's go ahead and save that. Um, unfortunately, we didn't manage to sell all of the players we wanted to sell. And of course, we sold Ozil, which wasn't really something I wanted to do, but it's, it's done. And of course, Bramall's uh, transfer talks have broken down because this game doesn't like to allow you to sell your young players with relatively high wages. But there you go. That's the end of the transfer window. It did not go to plan. It's not exactly what I was expecting. Van Dijk out for nine days. Um, but to be fair, I think in the end, Martial is a good signing. I really wasn't anticipating to sign him at all. It was quite literally last minute. But we got him. So I'm happy with that. So now we can get into some training. Iwobi could do well here if he gets an A. He got a B. Not too bad. So he's going to get edged closer to 79 there. Adu is almost 79 as well. People doing well in training. That's always good to see. Now, by the way, we had a Player of the Month award for an Arsenal player, I believe. It was Bellerin. There you go. So Player of the Month is Hector Bellerin. How often do you see a defender get Player of the Month? He's, he's done really well for us um, over the last few games, that's for sure. Now we get some transfer offers. I mean, we just had one, I think it was in the last episode, we had one for Joel Campbell, which we've accepted two offers, actually. One of them's a very low offer from Everton, but I accepted it anyway. 
Um, do I want Giroud to leave for only 15.5? Uh, sorry, no, he's gonna. It's, it's, a, it's an offer of 17.8. That's quite nice. I'll actually go ahead and accept that. And of course, if they do go through, they will leave in January. Um, at this point, though, we don't really need the money. So it might be worth just keeping hold of these players just because why not? Um, but now, as promised, I was going to do it in the last episode, but we're going to do it in this one instead. We're going to be looking at a squad report to see how the players have done since starting this season. So at the moment, all go goalkeepers have stayed the same. Bellerin is now 85 rated. Very, very good. Adu has gone up to 78, so he's gone up by one. Uh, Mustafi, Van Dijk and Umtiti have stayed the same so far. Holding has gone up by one. Koscielny has stayed the same. I'm pretty sure he's going to go down to 82 and then 81 very soon. Uh, Kalasinac up by one to 83. Luke Shaw has stayed the same. Bramall, another player that we haven't been able to sell. To be fair, I might just release him. To be, I mean, he's, he's not that great. Um, El Nenny has gone up by one. Cochrane has stayed the same. Joel Campbell's gone up by one. Who knows? I might make some use of him. Why is he number four? That just looks really wrong. It's because I gave um, I gave Sterling his number, didn't I? I've just realised number 11's free now. I'm going to give Joel Campbell 37. Um, we'll finish this after. So Walcott stayed the same. Maitland Niles up by one. Nelson up by two. Kazola down by one. His form is bad, but to be fair, I'm not using him. Ramsey has stayed the same. Wilshire as well. Jack has gone up by one. He's made a great start to the season. Our new captain. Goretzka up by 1 to 85. Asano up by 1. Uh, Martial's just joined, but he will grow. Uh, he's got number 18, by the way, and I think that, that suits him, actually. Although I could give him number 11. Or do I give Sterling 11? I don't know. Um, Iwobi up by 1. Sanchez has stayed the same. Sterling 84. Um, Welbeck 81, 86, 81. So not much growth in terms of uh, my strikers and a couple of wingers. But again, Raheem Sterling is another player that I think will just shoot up. I'm so happy I got Martial. I think he's going to prove to be very good for us. Um, one thing we do need to sort out at some point this season is I have quite a few players running out of contract. So Ospina, Czech, Welbeck, Walcott, Maitland-Niles, Nelson, Gazzola and Asano all pretty much going to be leaving for free. I mean, we, we won't be able to sell Nelson. Well, Mel Nelson and Maitland-Niles will not be able to leave for free because they're too young. But everyone else... If I don't sort out their contracts before the January transfer window, they could leave for free. So I will definitely be sorting that out soon. Um, Ospina's value has gone down by 7%. Should have really tried to sell him in that window. Because um, Orlers has gone down by 14% as well. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be playing any games in this episode, unfortunately, guys. I wanted to finish off deadline day. And in exactly, well, about an hour and 10 minutes, Destiny comes out on PC. And I'm so excited to play that. So I'm afraid I'm going to end it here so I can edit this. And get it up so I can play at 6pm when it launches. So uh, thank you for watching. It was a somewhat successful window. I don't know. Was it? We managed to sell Ozil for a lot of money. And we have replaced him. We barely spent that money. I mean, how much have we got left? We've got 100 million pretty much left in the bank. Which is crazy. So in January, we can go all out and get a really good player if we want to. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. Click that notification icon as well so you get notifications when I upload. And I will see you in the next episode soon.